Hey everyone, what's going on? I'm David Benitez from Extreme Vocal Institute, and this is my good friend Jason Evans from Ingested. And we're here at the Worcester Palladium here in Massachusetts. These guys are on the Lorna Shore headlining tour, along with Of Sulfur, along with Aborted, uh, who, el who else is Angel playing? Maker. Angel Oh my god, Angel yes. Maker. Oh, this is going to be a day. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> How were the last few days of the tour? Uh, amazing. Um, Philly was the first show, and that was awesome. And then last night was New York at the Gramercy, and that was even better. Uh, that was utterly insane, that show. And then tonight, it's a sold-out Palladium. So it's gonna, this is gonna, probably going to be the biggest show on the tour. Yeah, um, so I've so, heard. That's really exciting. Yeah, I'm super, I'm super excited. I just can't wait to play. <laughs> it's awesome because like we, I feel like we've been able to see you so many times since shows have come back, and this has been able to happen again. I feel like guys, you guys have been out so much. It must be really nice to feel back in full swing with everything yeah. again. Yeah, um, I mean, we're we're just road dogs, man. Like we we just work our balls off like <laughs> all the time like if we're not if we're not touring we're writing albums um or recording albums or doing music videos or doing summer there's no there's no like downtime yeah with ingested um but yeah like we were when we were, when was it last time we were in we were here and it was mm -hmm. uh fit for an autopsy in january january february yeah yeah and then we're back We'll back straight away and then we'll That's be right. back again because there's, there's no stopping ingested. That's right, absolutely. <laughs> and because you mentioned it, I did want to talk about this too because of the big thing going on for you guys, this record coming out, yeah. which is so sick. All the singles that you've been putting out, all the videos, so many videos that you've been putting out have all been awesome Thanks. your neck must hurt a lot from filming all of these videos yes like <laughs> so much pain we did um the first three videos um ashes lie still shadows in time and tides of glass mm -hmm. we did them in two days and like i swear to god right when we were when we were in the van on the way home mm -hmm. after filming the last one I, I literally couldn't move because it's like because <laughs> when you're doing the music video you want to go hard don't you like so it looks like crazy yeah. and you go a little harder than most yeah. with your whole I'm person like, <laughs> like, and um so we did we did a uh, we did two video the first two videos we did yeah. the, um on like i think it was like the tuesday or something and um we did ashes lie still and shadows in time both in the same like this like it's like this really old building mm -hmm. and um it's called Reevesby Abbey, and it's like an old, derelict, like, mansion, like, manor house. Yeah. And it's, like, fucked. But it's, like, <laughs> built underneath it. Like, you can still get into, into this. Underneath the actual the house is, like, this really old, ancient, like, monastery that's, like, Whoa. underground. And it's yeah. the creepiest fucking thing I've ever seen. Like, so we did the, um, the Ashes Lie Still video in the house, and, like, it was the one where she like sets fire to the house and stuff like that and then uh, the shadows in time video we did downstairs in this horrible like terrifying <laughs> like literally terrifying like like are we gonna get out of here yeah, type location yeah seriously like there was like we were like walking around and there's these tunnels that just go on forever like and apparently like these tunnels were like what the monks that used to live in this monastery used to use to like travel to like other villages or whatever like it's wow. like little monk tunnels like it was well weird <laughs> so we we're like walking around in them and it's just total pitch blackness and i'm like filming on my phone and then like you'd hear a noise and then you'd be like nope and I'd just run off like i was like nah i'm out of here like and then uh, so we did that and that was the whole day and night yeah and then the next morning because we wanted to film tides of glass on on we picked the most depressing beach like ever like it's the most <laughs> the bleakest like saddest beach and um it's called um salt fleet beach okay and yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. in in the uk and it's it's really weird because like when the tide goes out it goes all the way out like and it's like, like it's just gone yeah like it's gone like you like where we were stood we couldn't see where the sea started. Yeah, it kind of looks it like the desert. Far. Yeah, it's crazy. And um, But we wanted to film it where it looked at its most bleak. Like we wanted it <laughs> to look like so sad. Yeah. Um, so we got there at like five in the morning and it was freezing like and we were all like fucked up from like doing the two videos the day yeah. before and it's a very sad time of day to yeah. be awake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was like the best thing was we had um, 
we were filming and there's these, <laughs> these like people walking the dogs like you know like along the side of the beach no. like just like and like Lynn's just there like <laughs> smashing his drum kit on this beach at like five in the morning um but yeah like doing doing the videos was like yeah. awesome and um we work with loki films who's mm -hmm. been like a long long time videographer and um he just he just gets what we what we do like so That's he always great. has a good vision but yeah like we're just busy 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 like the album comes out in less than two weeks yeah um, and you've like, got copies of it that you're selling now yeah we're person. selling copies early so yeah and um, we just want to get it out there like mm -hmm. we're so proud of this album yeah and, and i know how much of a journey that's been for you especially even like what actually got us started really talking together like still during lockdown so everything was still over the phone like over video call was prepping for the tracking and yeah. everything for this record and i feel like where you were then when we had first started talking about this sort of stuff to like where you are now like so excited about it is like the biggest 180 yeah. ever and i'm so thrilled that you <laughs> feel that way how how do you feel now like knowing where you were with this like a year or so ago i i, I feel amazing like um like because like you said like i was i my confidence was shot like i i didn't think i could do vocals anymore and stuff and then we got in contact and we started doing sessions and like you like built my confidence back up and like made me look at a different a different like perspective on how to do what what i was already doing and um it's just made the world a difference like i like i feel i feel comfortable in the studio as well which like when we spoke i huge. hated it didn't yeah. i like i hated it and um now i, I love it I, I record at home all the time like i'm just recording stuff like whatever like i I'll like sing songs. I'll like just for do, fun. Yeah, just for fun. Like, and I'd never do that. Like, because I, I was I was terrified of it. I feared it. Like, recording was like the one bit of the band that I really didn't like doing. But now, yeah. like, especially after our sessions and like all the work we've done, like, I love it now. Like, I, I am excited to do stuff. Like, and I'm excited to like experiment with new sounds and and tones and just see what i can do and how i can manipulate my my my, my sound like because a lot of it was i was worrying about what like what other vocalists were doing and stuff yeah, like that yeah, when I, right. like, and i was just like oh like everyone's doing this everyone's doing that and that, like and then through talking to you like it was sort of like realizing that my voice is unique and to just go with what i do and not worry about anybody else and just crack on with that. And that was like, yeah. that was a big game changer. That's awesome. And I'm so, again, so thrilled that you've been able to do what you did from all of these different conversations we've had all the way through to now. And especially like hearing these songs as they've been coming out and then like being able to look at this record as a whole, which you guys are going to go, crazy over i can't emphasize <laughs> that enough it's so cool to hear the differences in your voice now versus previous records because it's all awesome but especially from what we've done and how close we've worked on this like i can hear what you're doing and the amount of different things that are coming into play with the different ideas you've yeah. had and even like the way a lot of this newfound flexibility and this like the way that you can find your way to what you want yeah. so much more on demand now has been able to make the ideas all the more better is really exciting do you feel like any of that over the like over the last few months do you feel like it's bled into the way you perform a little bit on stage yeah definitely definitely um like I feel more, how can I describe it? I feel more fluid on stage. Yeah. Like before on stage, it was kind of autopilot. Whereas now I'd like, I just, cause I, cause I enjoy performing like live shows. And you've been doing it for quite a while. Yeah. Yeah. Like 17 years it'll be like soon. <laughs> That's awesome. It's crazy. And, um, but yeah, I just sort of like flick onto autopilot and just, just go through it. Whereas now it's like, I feel, looser and i feel more fluid and mm. like even last night i was like experimenting like on stage like i was experimenting with shit like with with like different ta sounds that i'd been figuring out like earlier in the day and i was like <laughs> oh i wonder what i can do with that like i was doing some like it was like some weird growl where i'd like <laughs> the way that i like put my tongue in my well my lips like yeah. that. and then when i growled it was like whistling at the Ooh. same time and i was like oh how can i use that and then like 
we were playing a song and I just thought, fuck it, I'm going to stick one in. <laughs> and I just went, like that. and then it just did a whistle and somebody caught it on um, on an Instagram story. Nice. And, I, and, I it, and I was like, oh, oh, I wonder what it sounds like. I was like, yo, that sounded sick. <laughs> I was like, min. Yeah. So yeah, like, it's like, I feel more free, basically. I yeah. feel more free to like, just do whatever I want to do. Like basically vocally, like I'm just, yeah. just happy to just mess with stuff whereas before i'd like stay like in my lane like i'd totally stay in my lane and yeah. now it's like i've been experimenting with like clean vocals like the song shadows in time mm -hmm. there's like clean vocals on the on the uh hook of that yeah and yeah i've just been like just going for it like i just yeah. feel more confident and loose and that's a really cool thing about heavy music right now too and what you're doing with your own ideas and what the band is doing and what this record is like and where you're going with it how there's just really no limits to what you can do now and it's a really exciting time because even though you guys have been doing what you've been doing for like you said 17 years of this the future is still so bright and there's still so much more that can be done and now like with the new signing to metal blade and all these other exciting things coming your way it looks like we're just doing this yeah. constantly well, that that's the plan. I mean, like we've we've never been like a, we've never been like a hype band or anything. Like everything we've done has been like meticulous, and it's been every tour we've done, every album we've done is just building foundations for what's what's to come next. Yeah. And we've been like, kind of, I guess, like you could say, we're kind of like a slow burn. Like we're just slowly climbing, 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 and that's that's fine. Like, like you you built that. it piece by piece. Exactly. Exactly. And. Um, now it seems like obviously with the signing to metal blade and releasing the new album it's like and these tours as well it's like we've got this this tour that's like pretty much sold out yeah which is crazy every day and, um, and then after this uh, in march we're doing a cannibal corpse tour in europe very nice so it's like all these things that like we're starting to see the return on all the hard work that we've been putting in over the years and like that never say die attitude and now it's sort of like things are falling into place and we're slowly starting to reap the benefits and the rewards of just never giving up really like yeah. so yeah and it's with, exciting <laughs> with with your songwriting and with the amount of vocal work that you've been putting in all these years and even just what we've done together over this past year and all of the work that you've done like building this like we said piece by piece it really does go to show that that hard work really does pay off yeah it really does like, which is so sick yeah it's it's like I'm speechless, like, because it's just like, it's like you said, it's like so night and day from where I was, like, what was it, like a year ago? Mm -hmm. Was it a year ago? A br ish, yeah, I yeah, think so. Yeah, maybe a little bit longer, like, I don't know just, where the time goes. But. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, it's just night and day, like, so it's, it's just, it's just great. Like, I just feel like so much better. And of, like, honestly, that's like a lot, like, thanks to you, like, of for course, real. Dude. Like, because, uh, if we hadn't got in contact and started doing sessions, like I don't know, maybe I'd have, maybe I'd have packed it in, maybe I'd have given up. Like, do you know what I mean? Because that's mm. that's where I was at the time, and now I feel unstoppable. That's like. awesome. <laughs> what? And because that was such a huge thing for you that you went through. For anyone watching that might feel similarly, where they they're at that point where they might give up or they might decide like, oh, maybe I should be doing something else. If but they still feel like they might have that within them, or even like you to yourself. What would you say, knowing what you know now, to you then? Um, I would say just believe in yourself more like just don't don't be so worried about what other vocalists are doing what other bands are doing what what they sound like and just concentrate on yourself and be the best version of you like you know it's all it's all it's all well and good saying oh i want to be the next so and so i want to be the next this person but don't don't worry about that just be the first you like you have a, a voice that's unique to you. That's the one thing that nobody else has is your voice and just believe in that. And obviously if if you need to, get in contact with this man here because <laughs> he's a wizard. <laughs> and I love that. Be the first you. 
that's really impactful. I'm, I'm even going to keep that in my back pocket too. I love that. And again, thank you so much for being here with us today. I'm so stoked to see you play some of these new songs live in front of people today. Again, I'm David Benitez from Extreme Vocal Institute. This is Jason Evans from Ingested. We'll, we'll see you real soon. If you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment on some more questions you have or what you want to see next. This has been awesome. We'll catch you guys real soon. And check out our new upcoming band, Monk Tunnel. <laughs> Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> Monk Tunnel. Yes. I love it. I was holding I was I was waiting for my moment to sneak <laughs> that in like ever since you said that to the point Fucking where I couldn't Monk Tunnels. Focus.